Welcome and good evening, esports enthusiasts. Get ready for the return of the ATL Rocket League 2023 pilot season as we continue in round three with a burst of excitement. It kickstarted last night, the first Friday night match. Fasten your seatbelts. This round promises non stop action and intense competition. Round three, as we have seen, isn't just an epic continuation. It is a strategic step towards the grand finals on November 26th. The stage is setting up. The teams are poised. And we're about to witness another incredible installment of Rocket Fueled Gameplay. The prize pool has surged, overpassing 1,500 in value. A big thanks to our amazing sponsors, VR Canberra, and your ongoing support, adding that extra flair to the rewards for this pilot season. For our newcomers joining us here, welcome in. Be sure to dive into all the specifics of Round 3 and the pilot season at australianesportsgroup.com forward slash ATL. Register final days to register and get ready to be a part of the excitement the atl arena is eager to welcome you tonight is not just about gaming it is the rise of champions who will shine and emerge victorious in this round three match showdown of the atl arena the anticipation is at its peak. Gather your teammates, brace yourselves for thrilling clashes, and join us live as we dive into round three of the ATL Rocket League pilot season. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, C 3 and I will be guiding you through this evening's match. We have a very exciting match in our hands. The Blackhawk Gaming Crew taking on the Grizzly Bears. A very big one for both of these teams. The Blackhawk Gaming Crew are the home team. As you can see on your screen, they have three map selections as the home team advantage. But the Grizzly Bears having two. So if it goes to the tiebreaker, the Blackhawk Gaming Crew do have the advantage of that map selection. And the map selections... They have done indeed. Joining me this evening in the commentary box is Archer Bobby 222. A very exciting match on our hands, Archie. What are your thoughts and predictions? Before we dive into a little bit of statistics here and analyze the teams and players, what are you thinking we're going to see from this match? Well, obviously the statistics are going to help, but I think when it comes down to it, I am backing the Grizzly Bears this match. Now, we'll head a little bit into why shortly, but I think Blackhawk Gaming has had a quite a good run, really, and they have had a bit of a challenge all the way up until this point. But Grizzly Bears being still, still new and, you know, needing that extra little bit of experience to maybe overcome Blackhawk tonight may let them down. But for that reason, I'm backing the underdogs here. Blackhawk... They do have a very powerful uh, roster, and I think that Sparks and Sharkbait do a really good job together on the field, and because of their experience on the ATL field before, I think that could give them that upper hand. But I'm hoping that we go to the tiebreaker, but I have a feeling we might not. I think it's going to be 3-1, and I'm going to say the Grizzly Bears. Throwing in early predictions before we even dive into some statistics. Archie reckons the Grizzlies will win three points to one. We take a look at the win ratio and win percentage for both Blackhawk Gaming and the Grizzly Bears. Currently, the Blackhawks are sitting in sixth position and we'll dive right into the season standings briefly. Grizzly Bears sitting in seventh, still on the hunt for their first match win tonight. Could be the night, but as we take a look at Blackhawk gaming statistics, the match win loss ratio at 0.5 and a match win percentage of 50%. We 
winning one, losing one so far in the pilot season. So pretty even there in the match department for Blackhawk Gaming. In the game department, win-loss ratio of 0.75 and a game win percentage of 43%. So nearly winning half of their games as well as half of their matches. Very interesting statistics there. Could that be enough to pull the Blackhawk Gaming crew through to another win tonight and keep, we'll start a win streak against the Grizzly Bears. As we look at the right-hand side of the screen, Grizzly Bears, as we mentioned, still seeking that first match win. So still currently zeros across the board for ratio and percentage. Although the game win loss ratio and game win percentage a different story with 0.33 for ratio and 25% for percentage actually staying the same the entire time they've been in the pilot season so far. Across their two matches, it has stayed at that win ratio and win percentage across match and games. So diving into the season standings now, we had such an incredible, thrilling match to kickstart round three last night between the Grizzly Bears and the KFC boys. It all but looked like it was the Grizzly Bears' first match win, but the KFC boys, out of nowhere, just turned it back to their favor and came back to win it three points to two in the end, taking their second match win of the season I just realized, looking at those standings, the KFC boys are missing a win. What's going on here? They've got two wins, and they've moved up into third position. That is a technical error there, but the KFC boys playing. What is going on here? We are having, I apologize for these technical errors here, ladies and gentlemen. Grizzly Bears sitting in seventh place. They got two game wins last night against the Grizzly, uh, sorry, the KFC boys, but it wasn't wasn't enough to get the match win as the KFC boys came back strong and made it back into the past season. I believe, sorry, that that is all good there. Blackhawk Gaming and Underbots and TO3 moved down a position because of the KFC boys claiming victory over the Grizzly Bears there, but they're all. If we move up to Underbots and TO3, we can see that they're tied there with TKB with season points. And the reason why TKB jump up in the third is because they are the most recent team to secure those season points. So no doubt things could change. VKR and UVE, no changes there at the beginning of round three. UVE still in first, undefeated. VKR there in second, taking on the Grizzlies tomorrow afternoon. KFC boys have one more game, but the, the focus is here is the Grizzly Bears and Blackhawk Gaming. We can see 7th and 6th position. One for one in the match department for Blackhawk Gaming. Grizzlies 0 and 2, so looking to change that. And they, all, they pretty much have a similar trend to the KFC boys who went 0 and 2 before getting their first win. Winning last night to go 5-8 and eight in the game department as well and jump right up to third. So you never know what we can see from the Grizzlies if they get their first game win. But the Blackhawk gaming crew really showed us last week against the KFC boys. They responded well after conceding to the Vikings Rebellion in the first game. And they're looking to get an upper hand here and jump up into third themselves with a match win. So we have some very exciting times awaiting us in this match. And our players are no doubt eager for this game to get underway. Five games if we go the full length. If one team can pull a clean sweep off, it's only three. But between these two teams, I know how much both of these teams Want that win. Grizzlies looking on the hunt for their first match win in the part season. And Blackhawk Gaming looking to maintain their streak. 
Well, Archie Bobby 222, I hope that your predictions, you're still feeling confident after seeing that. Diving a bit into this season stats and team statistics there. As we start off on Aquadome, selected by Blackhawk Gaming, the home team here for this evening's match against Grizzly Bears. Grizzly Bears, Teddy win the kickoff, setting it up Donkey there. But great contest from Blackhawk, sees it in neutral territory. In the middle of the ground for about 10 seconds, Sharkbait, aggression nice and early with a demo. Donkey looking to compose himself. Sparks, we saw a great phantom match featuring Sparks there. And Div 1, Sharkbait's in for Blackhawk Gaming to take the first goal of the match and the game 1-0. 21 seconds in. Well, Wackler Gaming coming out with some heat and pace in the early stages of this game. Winning the kickoff there is Sparks. Oh, a bit risky for Donkey. Risky indeed. Sharkbait will capitalize. Back-to-back -back goals for Blackhawk Gaming off of that pressure from Sparks there. Unfortunate positioning for the Grizzly Bears. Sees their Blackhawk Gaming crew capitalize on that goal. Two points to zero. Four minutes 33 on the clock. Plenty of time left for the Grizzlies to respond here in game one. Great centering ball. Wow. Blackhawk Gaming. Shark Bay already in with a hat trick. 34 seconds into the game. Donkey taking himself out of the play there, making it hard for Teddy. Seeing Shark Bay securing his third goal of the game and the match. A very strong start from Blackhawk Gaming. They look to continue to apply that pressure onto the Grizzlies. Great shot on goal from Sparks. A great save from Donkey, though. Sees the Grizzlies not concede and clear the ball there. Much needed from the Grizzlies as Blackhawk Gaming apply the offensive pressure. Great save. Another great save coming in from Donkey. Tightening up their defense after conceding three goals in less than 30 seconds. And another goal from Sparks after that demo. Sharkbait put on the donkey. Wow, Blackhawk Gaming. Asserting themselves in the early stages of this game. 63 seconds in. Four goals scored all to the Blackhawks. Donkey winning the kickoff for Grizzly Bears. Will this be a momentum changer? Flicks it over one. Setting up his teammate. Teddy's there. Teddy. Just veering off to the side there. Sparks following off that ball down the guts. But a great tap from Donkey. Sees the ball out of threatening position. The Blackhawk gaming crew must be feeling very comfortable. And a lot more aggressive offense there. Coming in in this early stage of the game. And Sparks securing another goal for the Blackhawk gaming crew. Cool, calm, composed Hawks here tonight. Soaring over the Grizzly Bears, but how will the Grizzlies respond? There is plenty of time. Why does that keep happening? Three minutes 30 left on the clock. Five and nil. We see the ball deep in Blackhawk territory. A great save from Sharkbait. Sparks and Sharkbait definitely looking a lot more calm and composed compared to the first game. Their debut here in the pilot season. We know the Grizzlies are the newest team in the competition. And they have put on some tough challenges for the teams they've come up against, which is Ultravard Esports in their debut and KFC Boys last night. So no doubt getting used to their opponents here in the Blackhawk Gaming as the pace of the game has slowed down. Bit risky there, but worked out well in the favor of the Grizzlies as the ball... Entering Blackhawk Gaming territory. The entries from the Grizzlies seem to be a little bit slower compared to the Blackhawk Gaming. It's shot on goal from Sharkbait. From defense to goal in one touch. Blackhawk Gaming extend their lead. Six points to zero. Wow. I believe the biggest score we have seen in the pilot season is 11 points to three, but 
The highest scoring game with no goals scored from the opposing team was 7 points to 0. Ultravard Esports still now over underbots in Div 2. Almost setting it up. Shark bait there. And Vikings rebelling scoring the most points in one game. 11 points to 3. Sparks and Shark bait doing really well. Oh, but Donkey's in. Saw the opportunity. 6 points to 1. Grizzly Bears are on the board to stop the bleeding after conceding six goals in a row. Much needed. Five points to margin. Grizzly Bears have two minutes and nine seconds to pull this back and potentially take game one. Everything needs to work out in their favor. Like that kickoff and a great shot on goal. Applying the pressure immediately is Donkey. No doubt feeling comfortable and more confident after that first goal. Great setup attempt there from the Grizzly Bears. The captain, Teddy. Donkey and Teddy looking to apply themselves and inject themselves in the comp where they can. Great touch from Teddy to redirect that. Not a strong clearance. The shark bait sends that one back in, but Donkey's there to hold the line for the Grizzly Bears. Shark bait and Sparks doing very well to set up their offense and keep it in Grizzly half. Making Teddy and Donkey think in the... Seem like they're having to act a bit on their feet. Great pass back to the goalkeeper in Teddy there. But great cut, catch from Sharkbait. Centering ball. Teddy's in for the Grizzly Bears. That's what they needed. Look like Blackhawk Gaming. We're about to clear that ball out. But a great read from Teddy. And a great touch sees him with another goal. Six points to two. 1 minute 16 left on the clock. Can the Grizzlies do it here in game one as Donkey wins that kickoff? Bouncing with some hang time there in Blackhawk Gaming Territory. Looks like Sparks and Sharkbait happy to see the play out. Sparks blumping Sharkbait. Contention there from Teddy, but Blackhawk Gaming clear this one. Less than a minute left. I don't know if there'll be enough time left for Grizzlies unless everything works in their favor. Great dribble in, but Sharkbait reading that play well to save the goal for Blackhawk Gaming. Teddy and Donkey applying all sorts of pressure, but the Blackhawk Gaming crew are holding their ground very well and creating great opportunities going forward. As we see Donkey now take it forward, great interference from Sparks. Clears up. Oh, wow, a demo from Teddy. Oh, sorry, on Teddy. From Sharkbait, Teddy's in for the shot on goal, but Sharkbait, great defense from Sparks and Sharkbait, not letting any goals through, except for two, oh, Tessie, <laughs> and a demo to go with that pop, six points to two, one second left on the clock, Sharkbait trying to go for a dribble in, but Donkey keeping that one alive off the side wall. Donkey could be in for Grizzlies, but save from the Black Ga Blackhawk Gaming crew. Archer Bobby 2 2 2. What a way to start game one. Blackhawk Gaming with a dominant lead, but Grizzlies stopped the bleeding. Six points to two. Blackhawk Gaming take game one. Well, it's definitely a fantastic start for Blackhawk Gaming, and I know that Grizzly Bears is up for a challenge. Statistically, Blackhawk Gaming can take out this match, but I do know the Grizzly Bears have it in them to really pull in that game win and reel in Blackhawk Gaming where they need to. So everybody scoring at least one goal as well in that first match, so that was absolutely phenomenal as well. I know that these two teams are working together as best as they can. There are some communication mishaps I can see on the field, but I know that once those are down pad, things will start to change. Good luck to both teams, and well done for that first game win, Black Hawk Gaming. All right, as we load in the game two... The Grizzlies have selected this map. We're on Salty Shores. Players loading in on the sand. Here we go for game two. Will Blackhawk Gaming keep the momentum and take game two? Up game one, one nil in the series. Or will the Grizzly Bears respond? Donkey look at a demo or bump there, but Grizzly's doing great. Great work at the beginning stages of this game to apply offensive plays and pressure onto their opponent's bites. 
Blackhawk Gaming are around. They might be a little bit too slow, but it's not. Sparks will get the goal. One point to zero. Four minutes 37 left on the clock. Sparks scoring the first goal of game two for Blackhawk Gaming. Plenty of time left on the clock for the Grizzly Bears to respond here. And how will they respond after conceding that first goal and first game? Shark bait! Wow! What a play coming in from Blackhawk Gaming. Pulling all kinds of tricks in. Going back to the basics and getting the goals. Using the wall to their advantage there was Shark bait off of the kickoff win from Sparks. Blackhawk Gaming working really well as a team this evening, which sees them take game one and lead this game. Donkey just missing that one. How will Teddy and Donkey respond to this strong Blackhawk Gaming squad this evening? Still seeking their first match win in the pilot season and getting a match win over Blackhawk Gaming would no doubt give them momentum going forward into their matches for the rest of the weekend as their Vikings Rebellion occurring in round three. A tough match up there. So getting the win against Blackhawk game will no doubt help. What an aerial dribble in, but a great save from Donkey. Sees the ball at halfway. Teddy now taking the ball into Blackhawk territory, but Sharkbane Sparks doing well to keep it out of their half. Great save from Donkey. Popping it over Sparks there. This could be an opportunity for Grizzlies as they take it deep into Blackhawk territory. Great contest from Sparks. He's the ball in the corner. Teddy setting up his teammate. Could be in, but Sparks holding his ground. Awesome. Donkey almost in. Great defense and offense from Blackhawk Gaming tonight. Grizzly Bears. As we see, are having to get creative with how they try and crack this defensive war and score a goal, Donkey. Teddy's up, but so Sparks to stop that ball from going any further. We now see the ball in Grizzly territory. Shark bait with an attempt could be great save there from Donkey, stopping that opportunity from Blackhawk Gaming. Donkey following up on his play and Shark bait reading these plays very well to contend and keep the ball out of the center of the field. Sparks and Sharkbait now on the defense, but cool, calm, and composed. Teddy and Donkey lurking around the middle. This is an opportunity for Grizzlies. Teddy just missed that opportunity gone missing now. As Donkey keeps the ball in the corner, Sharkbait and Sparks recover and reset. Send the ball down the guts, but Teddy's there to interfere with the play. And by the Grizzly Bears, some time. Sharkbait, sorry, Sparks setting Sharkbait up. Oh, but Teddy's in for a goal. Great read and great positioning to apply himself in the play and score the goal for the Grizzly Bears. Two points to one. Two minutes seven left on the clock. They are not out of it. How will the Grizzlies go? Will they score two in a row? Like Blackhawk Gaming. There's an opportunity scored by Teddy. Unfortunate for Sparks there. He had it all under control, but just one unfortunate mistake. Helped the ball go in. Two points all. Two minutes and one second left on the clock. Blackhawk Gaming win the kickoff. Almost a kickoff goal there, though. Teddy looking to see this boy out. Passing it. Maybe trying to pass it to his teammate there. Great contest. Winning the 50 shark bait. Lurking around the back end of his opponents now with an opportunity. He will get the goal to take the lead back for Blackhawk Gaming. Three points to two. One minute 40 left on the clock. Blackhawk Gaming asserting themselves in the tiebreaker of this game. Three points to two. Awesome donkey, aggressive kickoff season. Win that with great pace. Sparks reading that in the corner. Oh, Teddy. Great contention, but the ball still going in the Grizzly territory. How will Sharkbait set up Blackhawk Gaming here? Continue to apply pressure on the donkey there. 
Sparks and Donkey Sharkbait, so working very well, applying all kinds of pressure onto Donkey and Teddy. Setting up the defense well, just remaining calm and composed when the Grizzlies go down and set up plays. Seeing them able to send the ball down the guts. But the Grizzlies doing well to contend here. If they can get a goal, it'll all be tied up. Oh, wow! Sparks! No way! Cool, calm, composed dribble and then flicking it over his opponents there. A cheeky little bump over. Putting them in all kinds of awkward positions. Four points to two, 47 seconds left on the clock. Two points to margin, Blackhawk Gaming lead this by two. Grizzlies need to score the next two goals. Great contest from Teddy, but Sharkbait looking after the center of the field very well for Blackhawk Gaming. Oh, Sharkbait bumps Teddy out as Sparks. Now takes it into Grizzly territory. Can we see another shot on goals? Setting up Sharkbait. Sharkbait's there, but so is Donkey and Teddy. Great save from Teddy to not concede. Can they send it back down and score a goal themselves? Donkey over one, but Sharkbait, great save. I don't know if Grizzlies will do it with five seconds left. Sparks with a shot on goal, but a great save. Oh, could have been another goal, but... Four points to two, sees Blackhawk Gaming take game two on Salty Shores. Archer Bobby 2-2-2, two, two, two. I don't know if your predictions are going to be accurate. I don't know, I don't know. I was backing the underdogs here. Grizzly Bears have stepped a little bit more into a new comfort zone now than what they had in at the previous game. Blackhawks, things are taking some turns and some things now are working more in Grizzly Bears' favor than ever in this match. And I think if they can get the one percenters to work out in their favor, the Grizzly Bears could really take a step forward into this match. And Blackhawks, really the defense and the attack down the guts of the field, but also down the wings as well is absolutely phenomenal really and I think Blackhawks those types of plays and the team plays being able to pass to each other in stressful otherwise stressful situations I think Blackhawks is coming out are coming out on top because of those specific moves so good luck to both teams in game three Grizzly Bears keep yourselves in this match good luck here we go for game three we are on Urban Central, selected by the home team. Can they do a clean sweep? If they do, that will send all sorts of ripples across Division 2, but the Grizzlies are in an opportunity to do a reverse clean sweep and send all sorts of ripples themselves in the Division 2 competition. We've seen great... Composure going forward and holding their ground from Blackhawk Gaming. Teddy and Donkey tightening up things in the early stages of this game, but can they hold it going forward and capitalize on opportunities? Sparks and Sharkbait have been looking after the center field very well, particularly when Grizzlies have been trying to attack their goals coming in from the center. And the pressure that they are applying onto the Grizzlies when going forward, putting them in awkward positions and open up all sorts of opportunities when it comes to goals. But, oh, wow, wow, we Teddy trying to take that across field, but Sharkbait reading that well and just slingshotting the goal in. Blackhawk Gaming taking the first goal of the game in game three, 1-0. Four minutes and seven seconds left. The Grizzly Bears are not out of it. They have nothing to lose. And everything to gain as Sharkbait with another goal off a of Sparks pass. 61 seconds into the game. Blackhawk Gaming continuing the momentum. Three minutes 59, Grizzly Bears with enough time left on the clock. 
to win this game and keep themselves in the match as Donkey saves that goal with shark bait off the crossbar there. Teddy contending there with shark bait in the corner to keep it out of any threatening position and now the Grizzlies look to send themselves forward. Three, ooh, Teddy's taking himself out of play there. Blackhawk Gaming, you can see, have definitely put all kinds of pressure onto the Grizzlies. Just the simple mistakes can make all the difference for both teams that we've seen. It's helped Blackhawk Gaming get a few goals, and it's seen the Grizzlies concede a few. But the Grizzlies have done well to tighten it up here, particularly in the past two games. Four points to two in that last one. Two points to zero here in game three. So the, the Blackhawk gaming crew are at least keeping a two-point margin on the Grizzly Bears. So if the Grizzly Bears can make some changes in their offense, apply some more pressure going forward and not let those balls flick over the top of them when they're going forward, we could see the Grizzlies keep themselves in this game, but they're going to have to crack that Blackhawk gaming wall because we've seen how strong it's been, particularly going down the center. So the, make it, the, the Blackhawk gaming squad are making it hard for the Grizzlies to get goals, but the Grizzlies can't let them get centering shots like that because that can apply all kinds of pressure onto them. But... The Blackhawk gaming crew are doing a really good job. Blowing up Teddy there. Taking him out of the game for a second. They're doing a really good job to assert themselves in the competition here in this game. And ooh, Teddy keeping the ball but veering off to the side. Their defense and offense over the past three games has definitely picked up. After versing Vikings Rebellion off the bat, they have recovered very well. After 3-0, losing 3-0 themselves to Vikings Rebellion, they have got themselves in a position with over 90 seconds left to do a 3-0 over the Grizzly Bears in three weeks. From, oh, oh, great pass, the donkey's in! That's what the Grizzlies needed! Exactly what they needed! 1 minute 24! Oh, great team play in defense. A long shot goal sees the Grizzlies stay in this game with 1 minute 24. But they need to keep this momentum going with that kickoff win. Donkeys win the, won the kickoff. Teddy's there, but Sparks is over. That's what they needed to stop because Blackhawk Gaming have got them in that position all night and capitalize on that position again. Unfortunate for the Grizzly Bears, looking really strong in that offensive play, but Blackhawk Gaming popping it over them to create that opportunity. Three points to one, they're still in it. One minute ten left on the clock, they need to score the next two goals in 70 seconds. If they are to do this and pull it back to overtime. Great composure from Donkey, putting them... Ooh. Slow play from the Grizzlies sees Blackhawk Gaming set themselves up. Not going too deep into Blackhawk territory. Sparks has set up their goal and now clears it away for the Hawks. 40 seconds left on the clock. Teddy and Donkey. If they're going to score a goal, they need to score it in the next play or two. And then score another goal off of the kickoff play. Less than 30 seconds, Blackhawk Gaming taking it down in the Grizzly Bear territory. But Teddy cleaning that one up to the corner. Teddy taking himself out of play, unfortunately, on that one. Sparks sending it into the corner. Now setting up Blackhawk Gaming. But great interference from Teddy to not concede there. Last attempt looks like comes in from Blackhawk Gaming. Getting over one. Teddy's blown up. Blackhawk Gaming. Blackhawk Gaming have done it, ladies and gentlemen. Three points to one in that last game. Game three, winning the match. Three points to zero over the Grizzly Bears. Wow. Archer Bobby 222. Your predictions 
not on this evening. What a match from the Blackhawk gaming crew. The Grizzly Bears. Oh, unfortunate, but wow. What are your thoughts after seeing that match? For such a challenge like Blackhawk Gaming, Grizzly Bears did such a phenomenal job tonight. Blackhawk Gaming stealing the match tonight with absolute gusto. The the goals scored, I'm not going to lie, were very different than what I thought it was going to be. So that is something that I was also proven very wrong about tonight. So well done to both of these teams. Let's take a quick look back at the game scores in this match for Blackhawk Gaming to take this 3-0 match win. Six points to two in the first game, four points to two in the second game, and three points to one in the third game. So Grizzly Bears weren't left pointless, and I think that was a fantastic point to make when it comes down to, you know, how they performed on the field because the score doesn't always show the real impact that was made on the field and the pressure was up very, very high. So a lot to be able to manage whilst also trying to work together as a team to get goals. So well done to both teams. I'm absolutely stoked for each of you and looking forward to seeing the participation that you guys have in the rest of the seasons. We do have amazing weeks to come where these two teams will have even more challenges to face. Thank you so much, Lindsay, for commentating tonight and to all of the teams absolute legends thank you well we what a match well done and congratulations to blackhawk gaming three points to zero over the grizzly bears their first clean sweep in the pilot season after being clean sweeped by the vikings rebellion in their debut two games later They've done a clean sweep themselves. The Grizzly Bears would definitely, no doubt, be looking to respond in their next game and as strong as they possibly can going into the final weeks of the rounds before finals begins in the pilot season. A great effort from the Grizzly Bears, but Blackhawk Gaming doing very well to secure that match win there with a very strong statement to the rest of the teams in Division 2. With that clean sweep, five season points on to nine. We'll see them jump up into third position on the season standings. Their next match will be TO3, the over 30s on a Monday. So if they can beat the over 30s, they will remain in the top four, if not top three at the end of round three. Well, what an exciting match we had this evening here on your Saturday night. A thrilling showdown between Blackhawk Gaming and the Grizzly Bears. With unfolding rivalries in the first two rounds and at the early stages of round three, it has been an incredible ride so far. You can relive all of these epic clashes on our channel for a thrill that lasts. And if you crave more ATL, Rocket League, Pilot Season action, smash that subscription button. Subscription? What is wrong with me? We're on YouTube. <laughs> smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button and let us know what your favorite moment from this match was. Or maybe who's your favorite player between these two teams? Dive into our Discord, social medias, and website for all round results, fixtures across Division 1s, 1, 2, and 3, as well as the season standings. Get ready for six more epic weeks and spectacular plays as we continue through round 3 in the ATR Rocket League pilot season. A big shout out to our sponsors, especially VR Canberra. I am your host, Arling C3. A massive thanks to our players, teams, match officials, spectators, and staff. Staff and sponsors, sorry, that work hard behind the scenes. Your support means the world to us. As we continue through round three, let's keep the excitement alive with gravity defying moves and strategic plays. The journey ahead promises more thrills. And we are eager to share it all with you. 
Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe. And we will catch you from 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon.